Watch what happens when a giraffe and a jackal get together on this love. <laughs> See, this is. Watch this jackal ask a very dangerous question. But notice that the giraffe is too smart ever to answer this question. Watch. Do you love me? Jackal, before I can answer your question honestly, I need to get some important things clear. Are you using the word love as a feeling? Well, of course. Okay, well, I needed to get that clear. So you mean, am I feeling certain warm, cuddly, tender feelings toward you? Yes. Okay, I needed to get this clear, because see, we giraffes do not use the word love as a feeling. It's much too important to us to get it confused with a feeling. It's a need for us. But since you use it as a feeling, okay, I'm glad to know that. So would you that, would you ask the question again? Do you love me? <laughs> when? <laughs> when? <laughs> well, I want to be honest. I can see how important this is to you, but how can I be honest with you about what I feel toward you without reference to a specific moment? Feelings change every few seconds. Life is changing. Feelings are part of life. So I'd have to know a specific time and place to ever answer your question of how I feel. What about right now? No. <laughs> but try me again in a few moments. So you see, to a giraffe, love is a need, and it's a need for which we must be very clear about what request do we have of other people to meet that need. Now, watch what again what happens with reference to that if we're, if we're in a love relationship with a jackal. I want you to love me. Oh, so you have a need for love, jackal, and you're giving me the honor of wanting me to meet that need. Yes. I really see how clear what you would like from me to meet your need. Could you tell me what you are requesting of me to meet your need? Now, the poor jackals, they don't live in the moment, you see. And, and it, to make a clear request, you have to live now. You have to be clear what you want. So watch how the jackal handles this. So could you tell me what you want me to do to meet your need for love? Oh. You know. <laughs> no, I'm not sure I do. Uh, I really see how me important this need is for you, so can you tell me specifically what you would like me to do to meet your need for love? Well, it, 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 it's hard to say in so many words. If it's hard for you to say, Jackal, can you see how hard it will be for me to do? I never thought of that. Hmm? So what would you like me to do? to meet your need for love. <laughs> it's embarrassing to get clear. Yes, it is, because much of our oppression in close relationships comes from saying to people, I want you to respect me, I want you to love me, I want you to understand me, without our being real clear what we want when we say that. So what are you wanting, Jack, when you say you want me to love you? I want you to guess what I want before I even know what it is. <laughs> and I want you always to be willing to do it. Thank you for not defining it that way, Jackal. Uh, I, would you please find someone else to meet your need for love? <laughs> <laughs> Most Jackals that carry that definition of love around with them find out how impossible it is to meet on about their fifth divorce. They keep thinking that they're going to find the right person to love them, not realizing the problem is how they're defining love and what they want from other people to meet the need for love, to see that it's impossible to meet that need.